here now to talk about this is Niall Gardner of the Heritage Foundation. Niall, thanks for joining me. It's my pleasure. Great to be here. Thanks, Jerry. I suppose the cynical view might be the fact that they're actually getting together for the first time physically in the same place for, the, for in almost two years is perhaps more important and more interesting in the long run than anything they actually say, or is that too cynical? Well, that's a, you know, that's, that's a good point, actually. And, of course, this is really, really a sort of warm-up meeting for the, uh, uh, the real G7 summit in Cornwall, which takes place uh, in, uh, in early June. Uh, and, uh, you know, traditionally speaking, these, these summits don't really amount to very much in terms of what they actually achieve. But I think there has been some real substance in terms of the discussions this week uh, between the, uh, the G7 foreign ministers uh, and there has been uh, somewhat of a of a stance taken against both China and and Russia. N- nowhere near strong enough, in my view, uh, but perhaps a, a good start on both the Russia and and China fronts. Yeah, let's start with Russia. Obviously, the concern about the Russian build up recently in Ukraine. Now, the Russians seem to pull back a little bit there, but the threat still seems very much to be uh, a very, you know, a very, a very powerful one. Obviously, the Biden administration is, um, you know, pushing back and, and threatening Russia. Although I see today that uh, Joe Biden is setting a date for meeting with Vladimir Putin. Uh, and of course, they're critical of the Trump administration, even though the Trump administration actually was more forceful in terms of dealing with the, the Russia threat than, than, than the Obama administration had been, which, of course, uh, did nothing when, when the Russians invaded uh, and, and annexed Crimea. Do you think we're seeing more tension now between, between, this, between the U.S. and its allies on the one hand and Russia on the other? Is that gonna, or is that going to is that gonna be resolved soon? Yeah, it, it's a very good question. Actually, I would say that uh, Brexit Britain, headed by Boris Johnson, is in fact adopting a tougher stance towards Moscow than the Biden administration. I think there's some mixed messaging going on with regard to the Biden presidency. And the decision by uh, Joe Biden to meet with Vladimir Putin, I think, sends completely the wrong uh, signal, actually. That's that's a very bad move. In contrast, I think the British government has adopted a far stronger, tougher line. And if you look at all of the European countries, uh, the UK is far in front of any other European country in terms of standing up to to the Russians. And that, I think, is in large part due to the Brexit effect. Uh, A free, independent Britain, uh, free of the shackles of the European Union, is adopting a very, very hard line against Moscow. Uh, I would say, actually, that the Biden administration uh, has been uh, not as strong as one would have hoped on the Russian front. And as you mentioned, uh, the Trump presidency was far tougher on Russia than the, than the old uh, Obama administration. And I think that there are some within the Biden uh, presidency who want to see some kind of new reset with, with Moscow. That's a very dangerous path. Uh, and, and I think the signal that Biden is sending by agreeing to meet with uh, Putin, I think the signal being sent is the wrong signal. Uh, and it does look as though, you know, there's a certain appeasement mindset that exists within uh, the Biden White House on both on both the Russian and Chinese uh, fronts. Niall Gardner, the, uh, as you say, we'll follow these events closely up to the G7 meeting uh, in the UK in June. Thanks very much for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you.